Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chris. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. I am Toys. Um, I have another review for you today in the spirit of Halloween, one of the best holidays of the year. Um, eat, sleeping, and breathing horror. You know, most of the day, weekends, decorating, it's a blast. Those of you who uh, enjoy it understand what I mean. So, you know, once again, make sure you hit the 4K option so you get this in, uh, in full clarity and whatnot. So, this is obviously a review of Sam. Um, this is not by any major uh, mainstream company. Uh, there are two versions of this character out there in the custom community. There's one done by Kane Productions and there's one done by Rain Man. Rain Man, this is my first Rain Man piece. Uh, I've never had a figure uh, by him before. And there's uh, pros and cons to this figure, obviously. And, and I was talking with a bunch of folks and everyone, I don't know, it was almost kind of split. There were some people that were like, you know, stick with uh, the Rain Man. The Rain Man's a great set. Body's a little complicated because of the string system and then having to change the hands and heads and the head can be a little bit of a pain. And then other people were like, nah, you know, go with the cane version because, you know, you get the uh, the chocolate blade and, and you get the, both of the lollipops and whatnot and kind of everything that should come with it. The cane version also has a nice base. Uh, this set this does not come with this table. Obviously, the... Uh, the chocolate blade that's in his hand was was separate. It's done by this guy Robbie. Uh, the tables again, something that I have. Uh, these are all custom made that I had. Uh, I procured them a while back, and uh, so it doesn't come with it. But obviously, you know, it's a nice setup. But the base that comes with the cane version is actually pretty good. So the review on this so is kind of kind of I. I blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so before I even wanted to do this review. Um, I usually have the figure out while I'm watching the movie anyway. It's kind of a ritual with me, but but because I was doing a review, I really wanted to kind of pay attention too. So I watched the movie last night, and after watching the movie and then looking at the review videos of what's out there on the Kane um, set, the pictures and whatnot, which I'm going to be editing into the, the this video as well. So folks out there uh, who I who I uh, who I've taken some of these shots from. Uh, Luis Castellanos, if you're watching this video, <laughs> uh, a couple I'm using a couple of your shots for reference. Uh, ben, um, also I'm using some of your shots from your video as reference, uh, and, and then some pics out there from maybe a few other folks. So uh, just so everyone knows, the photos that I'm using aren't, aren't mine; they're from other collectors because I, I obviously don't have the cane version in hand. So uh, I, I, I'm a little bit limited from that side of it. So I'm going to be doing my basis of comparison based on that, this figure, and then the movie. And I'm going to be referencing some shots from the film as well, and then kind of integrate that in so you guys see what I'm talking about. But after I got this, believe it or not, I, I'm actually quite pleased when, when watching the movie last night and then looking at the Kane version. There's definitely some things, obviously, that are a pain in the ass about this figure. Um, I, I, already off the bat, I'm going to tell you it's the string body and having to change things. It's a pain, posing a little bit. But honestly, it... it, it, it it may not really impact me that much, to tell you the truth, as far as um, my overall, um, we'll say, content with it. Uh, and as far as the shelf presence, everything, it honestly doesn't bother me that much. Um, the, the clothes are easily manipulable, and there's things about this set that's actually way more accurate than the Kane version, believe it or not. So I, I'm actually quite happy that I got, I, I got this set. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's flip over onto the other side. And uh, we'll um, not necessarily pan around, but I'll do some different reviews, have them rotate around, rotate around on the display base, which I haven't done in a while. And uh, it's a little bit easier as far as um, logistics, at least today, in doing this review. So I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, so this is going to be the, uh, just a quick kind of global shot of how I have it set up in the detolf, you know, minus the, uh, the extra head sitting there and the, you know, the accessory lollipops or whatnot. But, but that's basically kind of how I have it set up in the detolf. Um, with an additional chair too as well. So the one thing I want to talk about, you guys probably remember the video I did a while back talking about screen accuracy as far as, you know, what's more screen accurate to you? What's, on the, what's in the film, how it looks in the film, or is it uh, what, how it looks, um, you know, in broad daylight essentially. So obviously for me, you know, like I said in, the, in that video, I fall on the side where I want things to look like they do in the film. So the one thing that I will say on this is that they, the, this outfit, um, as far as what Rain Man was able to pull off, um, is I find it a little bit more accurate because it's more weathered. And the Tanela version on hers, I think the colors might be, and I don't know if it's just the video and some of the pictures that a few folks have taken, but the, the, um, 
the outfit is coming off almost like a little bit more coral uh, for some reason. And I, I went back and I looked at an old video that uh, some FX company did where they Doherty allowed them to basically kind of borrow the outfit. And I, I think the outfit is still pretty accurate. Like Tanela, I think gr grabbed onto that pretty tightly. And, and, and I think it's pretty accurate, but it may be off like just by a hair. Um, and even mine, you know, looking at it through the camera right now, it, 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 it looks almost, I, I, I think that and the Tanela, the Kane version, Tanela slash Kane version, are pretty close in accuracy when it comes to the outfit. So I don't know if it's just the pictures or what, but ever so often when I look at the Kane version, it, it, it's coming off a tad too bright, um, or not bright, but too light, uh, a, a little bit light as, as averse to the more kind of orangey pumpkin, um, you know, color tone. But, and then also, uh, another thing I, I want to get into, but I'm going to jump a little bit closer um, for that next part. As the head comes around, you're going to notice that when compared to the Kane version, it's just dirtier, more weathered like it should be. Again, the Kane version is just too clean. And then hopefully as well, the camera's going to shake a little bit. Uh, you're seeing that the outfit too on the chest, it just has a little bit more dirt and grime and is dirtier like it should be. You know, down by the leg as well. Table's covering it up a little, but there's definitely more weathering down there. And then on the feet, it's just a dirtier outfit, which is what it should be. The cane version is just a little bit too clean. Just a little bit, or maybe too much, to tell you the truth. Um, I may be being a little uh, modest on that side. And then again, also, when you see the bag come around, um, you're gonna notice that the bag as well is also, when compared to the cane version, this version is more clean and more, I mean, more dirty, weathered, and grimy like it should be. And then on the head sculpt too as well, we'll even look at this. As you can see on the head, the paint application on this is much cleaner, much nicer when compared to the cane version. I do like that the cane version has the uh, um, articulated jaw, but the paint application is definitely not as... Uh, as stellar as the one that Rain Man was able to pull off with this. And then again, and I hope you guys are paying attention to one other thing. Um, well, actually, I'll, I'll bring that up in a, in a second. Uh, but like I said, yeah, you know, based on those shots and then comparing both, again, the outfit already is a, is a win for me and a step up over the cane version as far as quality. And then I'm gonna show you from a different angle, I wanna show you the back. So as he goes around there, I you know I changed the environment up a little bit as far as what's on there. You know, too much brown uh, well, if, if one color tends to take away from the color on the figure a little bit. So I hope that weathering comes through. As you can see, the bag, again, like I said, is much more weathered and kind of used uh, how it should look, you know, based on the film. And again, like those previous shots I showed you, and I'll show them to you here again. You know, again, these are just based on what I've seen in the videos and, and on people's pictures. It's just they're, they're cleaner than they should be. So, again, I, I, I give some points to the Rain Man version on that as far as what he was able to accomplish. And then another thing I want you guys to pay attention to, which is why, again, the Rain Man set, I'm going to give some points to again. Um, so as this goes around, I want you to pay attention to the back of the figure. Um, so as it comes around, I want you to think of the buttons. So the buttons in the film, as you're gonna see right here, or right here on the figure first, they are black. And then when you look on the cane version, which is here, those are not black. So another point, you know, basically scored for the Rain Man version as far as the accuracy. And also when you look at the back of the figure, um, it's just a little neater than the cane version. So again, I don't know if it's just, it wasn't futz properly or manipulated properly, but this is the shot from Ben's video. And, and then the shot that, I, that, that as you see as this goes around, um, just cleaner. It's just cleaner, cleaner done from the back. And again, it might just be how we had the figure set up, you know, again, but you know, I'm just going based, like I said, I'm, I'm limited on how I can compare it because I don't have it in hand. But again, as you turn around, the tailoring on this, on, on this is just done well. It's just a lot cleaner at, at the back um, as far as it being kind of a one piece. You know, you, you don't see any, uh, any of the seams 
um, or anything at the back that is so, oh, the, the, you know, essentially like it was in the film because I don't believe you saw that in, in the film either. So I don't know who Rayman had do the tailoring on this, but he did an excellent job. And the Razor candy bar as well, which I'm going to show you next, is done by Robbie. Uh, he goes Robbie Jones or Robbie the Painter, I think is another name for him. But let me zoom up on the blade and, I, and I'll show you what I'm talking about and then I'll show you the cane version. So as this comes around, you can see it's actual wrapper that's on there. And anyone who knows Robbie does amazing work. And you get the logo on the bar itself. The blade also looks great. A little bit of blood on top. Just excellent. And then, you know, taking a look here at the um, cane version. Not as good. You know, I don't think you get the logo. I don't know if he just has it turned around like this in the video. Um, but as you can see, there's no logo on that. And then the paint application on it is not as good. Um, but it's good. It's, it's great that it came with it. Because this did not come with it. You had to buy that separately. And I've heard different things about how much, how many are available. Someone said there's only three of these that exist. And someone said, no, well, there's more than that. So I don't know. Anyone who knows, you know, feel free to comment. But uh, I, I was told, I think most recent, someone said there's only like three of these. But again, I don't know if that, that, that's accurate or not. Um, but fantastic quality though. Just really, really great. Robbie knocked it out. And you gotta have that with this because if you don't, it just doesn't complete it. And it's a shame Rayman didn't include it, you know, initially. And now let me show you the lollipops too as well. And then you get both lollipops. So we're gonna close out with this, um, at least the last shot anyway. And you get both lollipops and you know points go to Kane on this one uh, for getting the color right because this is this is yellow and black stripes on the handle, which I think it should actually be red, at least in the film it looks red. I mean, again, reference off screen could be different. Um, and it's also very dark in the film, so you know, again, it's hard to say really. And then you obviously get this as well, the regular one. So you get both, which is nice. And that's the same for uh, for Kane as well. So let's close out with final thoughts and then that'll be it. I don't want this to be a, you know, like I'm ragging on the Kane version just because I have this. So let's uh, close it out and talk. All right, guys, so final thoughts, you know, basically. So I, I don't, I don't want to make this seem like I'm just ragging on it because uh, so some of you folks watching this were probably like, hey, you were messaging me about the Kane version, damn it. You wanted to buy this. <laughs> and that was basically... Uh, because after I was doing, you know, again, you, you, you go into a piece, you start doing your research, and uh, the Rain Man version was the, the one that I ideally wanted, you know, first, and then everyone was like, nah, you know, if you can try to get the cane, you know, go for the cane. So I, I literally started messaging everybody, man. Uh, my man, uh, Luis out there, Ben, um, who else? Uh, I, I think Drew, uh, a, whole, a whole bunch of people say, hey, would, would any of you guys be willing to sell? But I'm actually very, very happy that nobody sold. Um, because again, from the video and, and having this in hand and then re-watching the movie, I'm actually glad. I'm actually glad that I waited. Um, but there are things about the Kane version that that's awesome. I mean, number one, the, the chocolate candy bar should have come with this set. It, it, it already should have been part of it. Um, the base is awesome. I like the base much more with the Kane version, um, which I, I think I showed in some pics during the video. Um, I also like that you have an articulated jaw on the uh, on the sculpt which is fantastic um, and again like I said the base uh, I, I think Tanela did a great job on the on the outfit as well I think the color may be a tad brighter again I, um, a lighter than it should be again I'm not sure because I'm, 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 I'm limited of, of what I can kind of compare with um, but other, other than that those uh, those are awesome things about the set um, it, it's it, it's uh, the Kane version is, is good the Rain Man version is really good but I actually prefer the Rain Man version um, but ultimately, the one thing that I do hate the most about this damn thing is the string body. It, it, it definitely will piss you off when it comes time to actually have to change the hands, change the head, and then you know getting them into a pose that you want takes a little bit of time. But other than that, it's not really that bad. The um, the outfit is manipulable, so you know in scenes in the movie where the outfit looks bulkier, or in the scenes where it looks thinner, you can adjust it as you need to. Uh, but overall, my, my choice is was with this all around. It's just, uh, you know, for the points where I score this majorly negative, again, body. 
Um, I think I like the pumpkin on the cane version a little bit more actually too. Uh, but overall, you know, the big takeaways from this, again, I think that I think the, the clothing is a little more accurate. Detail even on the hands are better. The hands on the, uh, the figure, on the cane version, I feel like the paint application could be better. There, there, there are some shots on the hands where they almost, um, the fingers almost don't look painted. Uh, but it, I, I, again, I think it's just the picks in, in, in some of the shots that I'm seeing. Uh, but even on the gloves, uh, the, the you know the knitted gloves, the paint application on the Rain Man version just looks a little, a little bit better. The head sculpt as well, like I showed you. Um, and again, there's just weathering, more weathering to the outfit, you know, just in general. Uh, and, and his, and his trick-or-treat bag, you know, everything. So, but again, that damn string body, man. Um, and I actually, I like this set so much that I actually grabbed, um, I was able to, I'm gonna get two of these. Um, Cause I, I, I'm a nut, I need to be able to pose the second head. And, um, you know, and, and especially as big of a pain in the ass as this is to change the head, no way I'm doing that over and over again. There's just no way I'm doing it. Uh, so I'm actually going to get a second one so I can display them both and uh, I'm still waiting on that one to get here So we'll see uh, when it shows up. I, I absolutely love the movie. So I, I have uh, no qualms uh, within myself to have two. So again, uh, that's it um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again I, I, I don't want this to come off as some you know bash session on the cane But I'm just pleasantly surprised and kind of blown away that I actually do prefer this version better um, it's in scale, you know, it's it just, it's, it's great. It's, it's absolutely great. Um, and I'm a little bit of a nut when it comes to the details on things. So I'm glad that the details on this um, really came through because I, I was worried to a degree because so many people did not like the body as far as how it was set up. Um, but for a first Rain Man piece, uh, I, I really dig it. And I'm a big horror guy. So um, I'm happy to have it. So that's it guys, you know, give a like to the video, subscribe if you want. Um, I try to get out videos, you know, as, as often as I can. Um, and my daughter's on the other side as usual, wanting to key herself in. Uh, so hello. come on, come on quick and say hello or goodbye or, or whatever you're, you're plotting to do. You're probably gonna want to back up and kneel down because all they're seeing is your back right now. <laughs> I'm back here. Kind of takes you out of the video, doesn't it? You good? Like, subscribe, and put on the notifications, or else. And I don't know if you saw her face or her just her her belly, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that was her who said it. <laughs> All right, guys, peace.